A swamp monster much taller than a moose invaded North America and now it's on the loose. It can't move or bite, but it puts up quite a fight. It's a different kind of blight. It's a grass. The common reed, what a mighty weed. Look at these fields. They have such high yields. Can we turn you into power through a machine that devours you? Take this tall grass and make some biogas. Biogas is a form of renewable energy. Let me explain. To make biogas, microbes degrade all kinds of biomass and methane is made. It can make a fire be used as a fuel like farts that you can hire. Though sort of as a rule, we just call it biogas. The common reed, what a mighty weed. Look at these fields, they have such high yields. Can we turn you into power through a machine that devours you? Take this tall grass and make some biogas. If we could mix this tall grass with a bunch of poo, it might make biogas and that'd be the clue. But when is best to harvest? Is it summer or fall? Yeah, which would be the smartest? Will it make us gas at all? And how does it compare to other biomass crops? We'll collect them with a square and see what comes out on top. We'll test it in a bottle and if all goes well, we'll kick up the throttle and capture the smell. The common reed, what a mighty weed. Look at these fields, they have such high yields. Can we turn you into power through a machine that devours you? Take this tall grass and make some biogas. For the sake of cattail, can we harvest this reed? Put it into a bale and use it to feed a biogas machine where it'll break down, make energy that's green and turn it back around into a fertilizer to help grow food. I'll ask my advisor, we'll get it all reviewed. And it'll be tall grass, biomass, we're making biogas. Grass, biomass, we make it biogas. Grass, biomass for biogas. If this works on the whole, then the reed could be chopped. It might give us some control. Perhaps the spread could be stopped.